Water justice is the right of every living being on Earth and the right of the Earth itself to have water for sustainable life. I'm afraid of running out of time on this mission and just not being able to get there fast enough to stop. What I, I really do see is a, a crisis of monumental proportions. I never dreamt that Maud would be now with us in this task. My chief advisor, senior advisor on the issue of water, we're extremely happy to have you with us. I'm extremely happy to be here. The honor is mine. No. The honor is mine. Thank you. There's a mighty struggle taking place in the world between those who see water as a commodity to be put on the open market like running shoes or Coca-Cola and sold to the highest bidder, and those on the other who say, no, it's part of our common heritage, it's a public trust, it belongs to other species, and it belongs to future generations as much as it belongs to this one. I mean, it is so obvious that human beings use nature. We don't need this site. There is no reason for this site, except they just decided that they didn't know how to say no. Well, we'll tell them, no, no to this site, and we'll be back. Ask yourself the hard questions. Does it serve Canada well to say that it will never export any bulk water? Or is there not a framework by which Canada could benefit? The mots de Barlow de ce monde voient l'approvisionnement en eau comme étant l'objet d'un vaste complot international des gouvernements, des grandes entreprises qui essaient d'exploiter la population. Ça, c'est la vision que ces gens-là ont. Il n'y a aucune espèce de, de données factuelles derrière ça. I believe that water could become nature's gift to us to teach us how to live in peace with one another and in harmony with the earth if we had the wisdom to listen. <laughs>